South Side Chicago witnesses a spectacular fire that threatened destruction of a million and a half bushels of grain. 700,000 bushels were stored in this blazing unit. Flames eat away support and the building crashes. Rain dust explosions and heavy snow hampered the work of the fire. Special fire equipment failed to halt the destruction of this building. But heroic work stopped the blaze from spreading to adjacent bins, saving grain of great value to the nation. from West Point march into the Municipal Stadium in Baltimore to root their Army team to victory over those old rivals, the Navy. With a perfect record this season, the Army is favored. General Marshall is here along with 66,000 spectators. Air Chief Arnold arrives before the middies pile into the stadium. Navy's 11 is considered the number two team of the country. And if lung power could do it, the Navy would win. Admiral King is on hand, of course, and those two traditional mascots. The game was moved to Baltimore at the last minute, and bond buyers pack every inch of space as Army gets going in the second quarter when Davis goes around in with one of those famous flashes of speed. He picks up 22 yards to put the Cadets in scoring position. And on the very next play, Dale Hall does the toting and smashes through the Navy line for 23 yards and first blood. In the third period, Navy starts a 70-yard drive sparked by Hamburg, who tosses one to Hanson that spells 18 yards. The Navy's Hamburg takes to the air with a vengeance, and his next is a butte to Barron, and that's 12 more yards to Navy's credit. It's that one-man battle cruiser, Hamburg again, around right in for eight yards, prelude to a score for the Navy. as Scott goes over for the only Navy touchdown of the day. Army's fullback, Doc Blanchard, is a wild man as the Cadets start on their next touchdown march. He picks up a short gain at the start of his 50-yard drive, but that's only the beginning. For a play later, he's around end to gobble up 17 more yards. He's living up to his All-American reputation, you can bet. From the 10-yard line, he rips his way through Navy's left guard to run up another Army tally. Army's final touchdown comes the next time it gets the ball. Blanchard picks up seven yards to bring the ball to midfield and to set up the best play of the day. The ball goes to Lombardo, who snaps a quick lateral to Davis, and the fleet back is off in a flash. With a change of pace and sidestepping the country's highest scorer, skids home to make it 23-7 for the Army. The Cadets prove they're the tops in the country. 